Professor Michael Powell, Pro Vice Chancellor of Business at Griffith University. Professor Powell, you've just presented the Management Excellence Awards Innovation Medal to Brett Clark. What is your perspective on in the importance of innovation for business? Well, I think uh, businesses to uh, survive need to be innovative. If they don't survive, if they don't, if they're not innovative, they won't survive in this day and age. Our world is a fast-changing, globally competitive uh, world where innovation is necessary simply to stay in business. Great. So this is not your first management awards, is it? No, it's not. Griffith Business School has been uh, sponsoring awards here for five years or six years. And I've been at uh, all of these. I think they're a great evening. I think they celebrate management excellence, which is really important. It's particularly important this year because of the problems we've had in our economy. And managers have had a bad press this past year. Probably uh, some of it has been deserved. A lot of it has been undeserved. So it's really important that we celebrate what managers do in, uh, in running successful businesses, providing jobs, employment, and generating revenue for the, com for the country. Couldn't agree more. So have you got a great piece of advice for managers? Well, remain open to new ideas. Don't close off the, op the possibilities and opportunities. Uh, in, this, uh, in this time of um, financial uncertainty, the danger is we pull back into ourselves. We have to remain open, willing to take risks and willing to move ahead. Fabulous. That was Professor Michael Powell, Pro Vice Chancellor of Business at Griffith University. Thank you very much and enjoy your evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's Michelle Christodoulou, live from the 2009 Management Excellence Awards. I'm here with Marie-Louise Pearson. She was just awarded life membership to the Australian Institute of Management for her wonderful work that she's done in the Northern Territory. Marie-Louise, as this is your final year as Chair of the Northern Territory Committee, what are some of your proudest moments of your tenure? Thank you very much. Um, I think the Institute of Management has just shown me how great Australian businesses, Australian individuals and managers generally are. We are really the cream of the world's management talent here and it doesn't matter if it's a global economic crisis or whether in boom, we have absolute people that are just stars that can stand on the international stage and I'm very proud that the Australian Institute of Management can help them in their training, uh, in clarifying their thinking and in just helping them to put together their own CVs so that they can be proud to stand up. No longer do we see the tall poppy syndrome of Australia of old, it's gone. These people, we're helping to nurture, to stand up so that they can be internationally savvy, uh, we can be web savvy, we're up with the trends, we know how to handle the world, bring it on Australia and the Australian Institute of Management really helps to do that. That is a terrific synopsis of what the Australian Institute of Management is about. Do you have a single piece of management advice for new managers? Absolutely. Trust yourself. Trust your instinct. Uh, get some training and get a mentor. Uh, your instincts will guide you as to where you need to go. Your goals will tell you what you should be able to achieve. But that little bit of training and that little bit of mentoring will just make you stand out above the crowd. Actually, I think that's advice most of us could take, really. Terrific. And Marie louise any final thoughts on this evening's uh, proceedings so far? I know that you've been to a few of these. Is tonight different for you or special in any way? I absolutely love bagpipes and pipes and drums. I mean, it's just blown me away. Um, I'm a really old-fashioned girl with music. I love Andre Rieu. I love pipes and bagpipes. And, and to see the Brisbane Council start us off with the pipes and drums was just drumming it in, it's just a celebration. So I'm really looking forward to what's coming next. I think we'll all be pleasantly surprised. Thank you very much. That was Mari Louise Pearson, outgoing chair of AIM in the Northern Territory. Have a wonderful evening and thank you for joining us. My pleasure. I'm here with Helen Brody, the chair of the Management Excellence Awards Committee and also the commercial manager for Australia Post Queensland. Helen, this is your final year as the chair of the Management Excellence Awards Committee. What are your thoughts on this evening's proceedings so far? Well, it's a fantastic evening, glittering night, fantastic screen. The, the room is a buzz. It's been a buzz all night. And even when we had Heather opening the night, people were really already getting into their conversations. Um, we've had, you know, the Management Excellence um, Innovation Medal Award winner this evening, Brett Clark, which is an outstanding winner. Um, Darren Hill has just talked to us about humanity and the, you know, the power of, um, you know, one, but to the power of three, which has been a fantastic um, speech for us this evening and given everybody, I think, some inspiration and thoughts to take back to work next week. Absolutely. So, Helen, you've been to a few of these now. What do you think has changed with the Management Excellence Awards this year from in previous years? Oh, 
well, it's so difficult to keep on delivering um, better and better every year, but I think we do that just by changing um, different aspects of the evening and to fill the room with, you know, 500 guests and the calibre of our entrance every year um, is, is fantastic. And I think, you know, 2009 has been a tough year economically, so to get the nominations and the applications through this year has been a fantastic effort and it's a great testament to the management talent in Queensland that they were willing to put themselves forward in a process such as this. Absolutely. So what's your best tip for managers? My best tip for managers, it would be always to look after your people. The people and your team are what makes um, our business a success. Fabulous. Any thoughts going forward, Helen, as this is your final year, what would you like to see for the Management Excellence Awards in the future? Well, I think just build on what we have here and the regions do a great job in getting applicants from throughout Queensland and the Northern Territory and I'm, I will stay connected to the committee with Ann Gately as the new chair. Um, so we'll just keep on you know, innovating from our own ideas, from tonight's ideas. Fabulous. That was Helen Brody, Chair of the Management Excellence Awards Committee. Thank you, Helen. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you.